one might find the lyrics to the song, Here Comes Santa Claus, has a distorted message when hearing, Let's give thanks to God above when Santa Claus comes tonight. Imagine being an atheist for a moment, considering the two persons mentioned in the song, and hearing those words. You might just say to yourself, that's great and all, but I don't believe in fictional characters. If you are a Christian, I would hope you would be offended at that statement, because that is going to be directly connected with the main point. Which is, if you believe in God, why are you telling your kids Santa is real? I'm trying to get you to realize the error in teaching children a blatant lie you don't believe in. Perhaps this is under peer pressure from other parents and broader society to just go along with the culture, but does that give an excuse for this? How about we try to see if Santa is biblical with these verses? Proverbs 12 verse 22 Lying lips are abomination to the Lord, but they that deal truly are his delight. 2 Corinthians 10 verses 4 to 5 for the weapons of our warfare are not carnal, but mighty through God to the pulling down of strongholds, casting down imaginations and every high thing that exalteth itself against the knowledge of God, and bringing into captivity every thought to the obedience of Christ. Ephesians 4 verse 14 That we henceforth be no more children, tossed to and fro, and carried about with every wind of doctrine, by the slight of men, and cunning craftiness, whereby they lie in wait to deceive. 2 Timothy 4 verses 3 to 4 For the time will come when they will not endure sound doctrine, but after their own lusts shall they heap to themselves teachers, having itching ears, and they shall turn away their ears from the truth, and shall be turned unto fables. The Western world seems to accept the idea of Santa because it invokes a sense of comfort and nostalgia for the purpose of marketing, which is arguably the whole point of Santa to begin with, being also that the love of money is the root of all evil. Children are impressionable and naive about so much in the world already, and later on in life develop a sense of skepticism which can be a good thing when it comes to discernment. Skepticism, however, should be nurtured and applied with the lens of scripture as they go through life teaching the lost world the truth. God is not a fictional character. He is Jesus Christ, and all will be accountable to him for the good and evil that they have done in their lives. Don't confuse children at an early age. Teach them only the truth and finally tell them once and for all that Santa Claus is not coming to town.